Welcome aboard. We're here together to talk to you about a subject that is important to our organizations, shipboard civility and fostering a respectful work environment. It takes teamwork to sail a ship, and it takes teamwork to maintain a positive work environment. Disruptive behaviors can lead to safety issues, a hostile work environment, sexual harassment, and worse. This video is about civility, but ultimately this is about safety. By focusing on professionalism, civility, and respect, we create a positive shipboard environment that everyone deserves and that contributes to mission success and safety. Going to sea is an exciting time. During this voyage, you will get to meet new people and be part of a truly unique experience. And we want to ensure you are able to make the most of your time on board our vessels. First, some definitions. Professionalism, civility, respect. To me, professionalism means conducting oneself in a competent, confident, respectful, and enthusiastic manner. To me, civility means being able to coexist with others with whom we may not always agree. To me, respect is treating others how you want to be treated. It's being considerate of other people's feelings. It is expected that your conduct reflects professionalism, civility, and respect at all times. These principles will help build and maintain successful work relationships and will contribute to the positive work climate we desire. Despite best efforts, problems and personnel issues can arise. Let's look at some examples of behaviors we want and how they can be derailed. Consider this. You've been on the ship for a few weeks, but are still a relatively new member of the crew. You want to get to know your shipmates and head to the common area one evening when you are off duty. You join a group playing a game. You are treated respectfully and welcomed to the group. At the end of the evening, you feel pleased to be on board and look forward to starting work again the next day. Let's look at a different way this scenario could play out. You see your shipmates in the common area and join them in a game. As you are leaving, one of them makes a comment about your body. Another crew member nods and laughs in agreement. You feel uncomfortable, but aren't really sure how to react. You leave the lounge and go to your room, worried about future interactions with these shipmates. Now let's imagine a different scenario. You are new to the science team, excited to go to sea and gain experience. Your research is important, and the chief scientist is under pressure to collect data and complete the mission. While working in the lab, the chief scientist answers your questions and demonstrates certain tasks. Her leadership allows you to learn new skills and take on additional roles in the lab. What if the chief scientist did not maintain professionalism, civility, and respect? When you are unsure and ask questions, the chief scientist's response is critical and harsh. This leaves you feeling unsettled and hesitant to ask further questions. Your productivity and morale suffers, and you are left wondering whether you want to go to sea again. Now that you've seen examples of desired behaviors derailed, let's look at what you can do to address them. Many times, these issues can be solved just by approaching the individual professionally and civilly. Let's look back to when you joined the crew in the lounge and were subject to the unwanted comments. When you hear your shipmate's comment, you respond right away, telling him it was inappropriate. He apologizes and says, it won't happen again. You leave feeling relieved that he responded the way he did and pleased that you spoke up for yourself. Let's see another version of this scenario, keeping in mind that it's not always easy for individuals to stand up for themselves, particularly in new situations. When you, as the bystander, hear your friend's comment, you recognize that your new shipmate is in a difficult situation. You choose not to just stand by, you speak up. Remember that we all have the responsibility to intervene when we see behaviors that are unprofessional. Let's see another way to address an imperfect situation. This time, looking at the lab environment. After being treated poorly by the chief scientist, you feel uncomfortable approaching her about the issue. Fortunately, another scientist in the room notices the negative behavior and approaches the chief scientist in a professional manner about how this is not appropriate. The chief scientist acknowledges that her behavior was inappropriate and apologizes to you directly. 
This improves your working relationship and results in greater mission accomplishment during the voyage. These are all appropriate responses to the situations when done with professionalism, civility, and respect. Addressing situations directly can keep problems from escalating. Often, the person on the receiving end of the bad behavior was not expecting it and is unprepared to address a situation right away. It is just as important to speak up if you witness bad behavior as it is if you are the victim of it. If someone speaks to you about your behavior, it is important to receive that information in a calm and professional manner. Sometimes there are situations that are confusing or fall into a gray area, and sometimes there are problems that are not resolved easily. If you have doubts about a situation or something doesn't feel right, address it. If you are not sure how to do this, talk to someone in your chain of command. If you're not comfortable doing that, there are other options, which will be discussed in detail in further guidance. If negative behaviors occur and aren't corrected, it can lead to what is known as the continuum of harm. The continuum of harm is where an environment of acceptance exists towards inappropriate behaviors, leading to an escalation or worsening of the behaviors. It begins with an acceptance of something seemingly minor, such as a disrespectful comment or joke. This acceptance can lead to an environment where worse behaviors, such as bullying or sexual harassment, are tolerated. If these worse behaviors go unchallenged by others, they could escalate further to inappropriate advances, threats, or even physical touching or use of force. Remember that everyone has different comfort levels based on their culture, age, upbringing, past experience, or any other factors. Something that might seem normal or friendly to one person might be threatening or offensive to another. It's important to speak up if you feel like boundaries have been crossed for you or others. Any acceptance of unprofessional, disrespectful behavior will negatively affect safety. If you are distracted from your job by any negative interactions with your shipmate, you will not be able to give 100% of yourself to the task at hand. This puts individuals, vessels, and mission success at risk. By addressing inappropriate behavior as soon as it happens, you can keep it from getting worse and keep the focus where it belongs, on safety and mission success. can it get? Here's how bad. Bullying. Hostile work environment. Assault. And sexual harassment. Bullying is unwanted, disrespectful, or aggressive behavior toward another person that is repeated or has the potential to be repeated over time. It involves a real or perceived power imbalance. Bullies may use physical force, threat of violence, or intimidation to dominate others. A hostile work environment is one in which the conduct is severe or pervasive enough to create a work environment that a reasonable person would consider intimidating, hostile, or abusive. Assault is the threat or act of unlawful force or violence with the intent to commit bodily harm. It's a criminal act. Sexual harassment is any unwelcome conduct of a sexual nature that creates an intimidating, threatening, or abusive environment. It includes staring, unwanted sexual statements, personal attention, or physical or sexual advances. We have a zero tolerance policy for this behavior on board our ships or ashore. Remember, even when you are in port, you are still a representative of the ship and the same standards apply. Professionalism, civility, and respect are key to upholding a positive work environment. It's everyone's responsibility to ensure these standards of conduct are maintained at all times. If you see behaviors going off track, do something. Behavior that you walk past is a behavior you condone. Don't allow negative behavior to derail the safety and effectiveness of your ship. And don't be afraid to speak up for yourself or your shipmates. It may not always be easy, but it is the right thing to do, and you will be supported by your chain of command. 
Addressing a situation directly is the best way to break the continuum of harm. It may also prevent someone from going through a similar or worse situation in the future. We all have a role to play in maintaining shipboard civility and a respectful work environment. Fair winds and safe sailing.